available. Uh, John, if, if there's something we can do about that, that will be very nice. Okay, okay, here we go. Possibly the last presentation. Cool, please, so, go ahead. Yeah, hi. So, uh, we were thinking about the problem of how could we monetize consent. And this is just a quick snapshot of our team. A couple of dudes from Finland, one from um, the Netherlands. And um, 48 hours ago, we literally hadn't met each other. We knew next to nothing about my data, and we had no idea what we wanted to solve. So that's we pretty much started from scratch. And um, we sort of figured that the situation is going to be so that tomorrow, maybe not, but the day after that, absolutely, uh, data is going to be the ore. And before it can be actually refined into something useful, we actually need to get it from the people. And currently, uh, people don't really have a say in if their data is being used or not. It's being trans uh, uh, transferred uh, in exchange for use of services such as Facebook or whatever. But in the future, we sort of need to figure out some type of incentives for people to share this data with us. And well, who's interested in just raw data? Well, pretty much the companies that actually then refine that data into information for other companies to use, such as in marketing, uh, product development, or whatever. And here's just a quick walkthrough of what that might look like. Say so we have a company, and they're interested in what attributes tea drinkers sort of have, so that they could then market to these people more efficient, efficiently. Uh, then they figure out a company that can actually help them analyze that data and maybe build out new types of uh, product segmentation models or customer segmentation models. And this is where we sort of step in because this company might already have a lot of data, but then they sort of might need just a bit more to really narrow down on those segments. And well, we're here, we can actually tell these guys that, okay, we can get 10,000 people's worth of shopping data, uh, you just pay 100 euros for it. Uh, after this, we'll then try and ping a my data operator and ask it, do you actually have this type of data from how many people? Let's say Delia runs one of these um, operators, and they say that they've got 100,000 users worth of this data. And so, like, okay, cool. Uh, let's see if these people will then be interested in trading that data, not for money, but for lottery tickets. And maybe in the future, the exchange could be sort of valued uh, based on a stock model example, for example, uh, like um, on demand and supply, but that sort of needs enough uh, transactions for the price actually to be calculated in the future. Well, okay, two people said yes, one said no, we kept on going with this, and finally we got to 10,000. And okay, now we'll have consent from the my data operator, go to the source, they'll give us the data for these people, and then we'll sort of give it back to the data analysis company, like here's the data you asked for, cool, we got the 100 euros, they'll refine it, get a lot more from it uh, from the end customer. Uh, we did some really quick samples, we've only got a little time, so I'll just show the video of how this might look at from the uh, end user perspective, or who's actually giving consent. Uh, so basic example, which could be provided by my data operator, log in real quickly, uh, quicker, six, five seconds, choose what sources of data they're interested in, and then pretty much tell them I'm done, and whenever their data is being used, they'll actually get a ticket to a lottery, and the lottery pool of money will actually be created from a part of the cut that we get from the um, original uh, data analytics company. So yeah, thank you. All right, thank you. You were gonna play bricks and mortar, and then you decided to sell our soul. What so, can we say, what can we say? So that's the type of pivoting that happens, they call it pivoting, changing plans uh, in, in the middle of the hackathon. Okay, great. Who would like to ask a question to this team? Can we actually monetize consent? Does this seem realistic to you? Who, who or, or what kind of other questions might you have? I see judges just scribbling down a whole lot of text. Um, comments, anybody? Uh, do people know, really, do they want to give away their data? Do they need, how much work? do I need to do uh, to, you know, tell them that, okay, you can use, use the data? Well, hopefully in the future, I mean, once we have this whole uh, data, my data operator system or ecosystem in place, uh, then people will obviously become aware that there's actually some third party or, uh, who's keeping the consent data. And then after that, it will be fairly easy for us to reach you via these operators and sort of tell them that you could actually start monetizing your consent or your data. Okay, and I would give consent to my data if I get winning lottery tickets. Okay, wait, one more. This sounds good, and uh, only thing that I'm worried of, uh, if I were to sell my data for some uh, third party, I'd like to be sure that uh, it uh, would be totally deleted 
after the use. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that that could sort of be factored into, for example, the contract details that exist between us once we sort of transfer that data over to, say, the data analytics company or to, say, the consumer product company that's going to use that for market research purposes. And then if they sort of step beyond that line, I guess we'll then start lawyering up. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sell your soul, sell our soul. Which one was it? I forget. Um, selling souls. Uh, um, closing out our pitching session. Let's